Once again, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, we're here on YouTube Live with Women's Health Weekly with Dr. Jamie Glick, who's a, an expert dermatologist here in New York City and assistant clinical professor of dermatology at Wild Cornell in New York Presbyterian. Um, so how common is, what is eczema um, and how common is it? I would say eczema is extremely common, especially these days. Um, eczema is more of like a all-encompassing term and it really just means inflammation of the skin. There's lots of different causes of eczema. So atopic dermatitis is probably what most people think of when they think of eczema. It's like the little babies who have eczema. Um, then there's allergic contact dermatitis, which is just another um, cause of inflammation of the skin. I would say that these days, allergic contact dermatitis is extremely common. It's probably next to maskne, the most common thing I'm seeing on my telemedicine visit. that was great. <laughs> and... Um, pretty much related to all of the hand washing and all of the cleaning fluids that people are using now. You know, I think that people are trying really hard not to touch their face, but a lot of times because of the mask, people are touching their faces a lot. And so I'm seeing a lot of facial rashes or eczema on the face because whatever cleaning fluid or soap or fragrance you may have used on your hands, now you're touching your face. And a lot of times you're getting those rashes on your, your face. Um, are there things that can be done to prevent symptoms associated with dry skin, for example? Dry skin and eczema are kind of overlapping, kind of different, but I think that um, oftentimes we can treat dry skin with just skin, good skin practices. Eczema we can often treat with good skin practices, but sometimes we have to take it to the next level and give like a prescription medicine for that. I always tell my patients, even before we were all hand washing as frequently as are, that you want to moisturize as often as you can after a hand washing. Um, because when you wash your hands and you use soap, you're trying to kill whatever's on your hands, but then you're also stripping your epidermis or stratum corneum, which is the top layer of your epidermis, which is your skin barrier. And so you're taking off a lot of what you would want there as well. And so you want to kind of replace that with a moisturizer. And a moisturizer specifically with something called ceramides in it is particularly good at moisturizing the skin. It helps replace the lipids that sometimes we kind of take off when we're using the soap. I also think not using very hot water. So you don't want to use very hot water because that can also, when that hot water goes off your skin and evaporates, it takes extra water with it and makes you even drier as well.